Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 21, where you will add fractions with unlike denominators. And now, if you might recall, like denominators are very simple to add. For example, if I have a fourth and I wanted to add another fourth, well, then I'd have two fourths. Now, what if we had one eighth added to a fourth? Now, as you can see, these denominators don't match. Yes, you could put fourths together to make more fourths, but eighths don't add to fourths. So we would need to change a denominator, because they are unlike, so that they are alike. And one good way is to multiply. So if you were to double this 2, it would become an 8, wouldn't it? And whatever you do on the bottom, you have to do to the top as well. So if you're doubling the denominator, you have to double and multiply by 2 the numerator. And now this fraction, 1 fourth, has changed. It is now 2 eighths. Now, if you were to think of a drawing where you would have 1 fourth filled in, all I have done is change it to 2 eighths. I've basically put lines down here, cut this piece now into eighths, as you could tell, and two of them are still filled in. It's just called two eighths now. Now we could add one eighth to two eighths to get a total of three eighths. Now, we've done a lot of these examples um, in the last lesson in practice today. So, for the first one, for example, they want you to go ahead and solve with like denominators using a visual, a tape diagram. So go ahead and draw yourself both fractions, the 7 eighths and the 1 fourth. As you can see, I've drawn them for you. The top one 7 eighths and the bottom one 1 fourth. Now these don't match because fourths and eighths aren't the same fractional pieces. However, didn't we just discuss that 1 fourth could be changed to a fractional number by doubling to become eighths. If we double each one, that means each section in our fourths here is going to be doubled. And now if you count them, there's eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths. And there's seven filled in at the top and two on the bottom. So seven plus two makes a total of 9 eighths, which must be decomposed into, oops, not 9, decompose it into 8 eighths and another 8 for a total of 1 and an eighth. Let's try that again. Let's do C. I'm going to go ahead and draw my two pieces of tape. And let's fill them in. Four six and one half. All right, well, there you have it. Four six on the top, one half on the bottom. Now, if I wanted to make half of this look like the other one, I could also make those same lines. And now I have six as well. I tripled each section in the halves. So I multiplied by three. Now look at all this, the sixth that I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a total of seven sixths, which is made up of six sixths and one sixth. So I should say my answer is a whole and a sixth. Okay? Continue working on those as tape diagram where they want you to draw a number line. Now, when you draw a number line, you, could only, you only have to draw one number line. and find out where you would like to put your zero and hole. And I'm going to draw first the first fraction, one half. Now I want to have an additional, right, add an additional five eighths. But I don't have eighths on this. So I'm going to have to draw and change my sections so that they are eighths. Now, if I were to go from where I was at the half mark and add five more eighths, 
one, two, three, four, five, I would be here. So all you need to do is start from zero and count all the eights you just made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I made a total of nine eighths. But even if you look at where we're at on the number line, I'm at one and an eighth past it. So doesn't nine eighths turn into one and one more for a total of one and an eighth? Okay. On the next section, you do not have to use any drawing if you don't want to. In fact, if you're good at multiplying the denominators to make equivalent fractions, then just use that strategy. So on C, I have a 6 and a 3. We discussed that it was easier to enlarge the second number, or the, the smaller number, double it in this case, and now you have 5, 6 added to 2, 6 for a total of 7, 6, which is made up of 6, 6 and 1, 6, or 1 and a 6. Let's try that again. On E, I would want to triple the 4 so that it becomes a 12. And if you triple the bottom, you have to triple the top. So your new fraction is 9 twelfths, which is being added to 4 twelfths for a total of 13 twelfths or a whole and another twelfth left over for 1 and a twelfth. All right. I would in C or D, I would also double this 5 so it's a 10. And then on F, I would triple the 2 to become a 6. So there you have sixths and sixths. And if you triple the bottom here and you triple the top, doesn't the fraction 3 6, isn't that the same as 1 half? Yeah. And then you add that to the 5 6 and get your total of 8, 6, and then go ahead and simplify it. If you have any more questions about adding fractions with unlike denominators, then see me, and I'd be glad to help. Thanks.